we're looking at the spot where the lightning struck and started the grass fire this hay field is right below our woods which is right in the background and then we have a cornfield over there so thank goodness the east smithfield fire company came out or thank goodness the neighbors seen it fast called the fire company and they come out and put it out very fast before it got out of hand because we just got lightning and no rain today what are you doing Cathella? you're gonna get hot wait on us we're going to check corn timber checking this late planted corn doesn't look very good uh, we double cropped this took the hay off planted this the last couple days of may here we are the first week of august definitely need some rain not good we're supposed to be looking at our corn and dad thought to go pick rocks Up at our top field called Boston. It's pretty dry. Corn's still a little green. Once it starts to make an ear, it really needs a lot of rain. Finish that ear off. This right here is was one of the better fields. I don't know if it is right now. Sure. got some rain, I think it would be pretty decent. All oh, the rods. We were hoping to get rain today. No luck yet. Hay fields are dried up. No, no chance of any growth until we get a couple inches of rain. Yeah, we're just talking about some dry weather we've had in the this year and in the past uh, this year is one of the driest years i can remember uh, since i've been farming i started farming with my dad in 1988 and as you can see our yard and hay field here behind us is pretty much burnt up we haven't mowed yards since july 1st on our on our farm just a few small weeds have poked up but uh, the first dry year I remember was 1988. That was pretty dry. We had very little, little hay, but our corn crop was pretty good. And, and then in the 90s, we had some really dry years. One that was real close to this. We had probably three or four years that were dry in the 90s, with one of them being extreme. And this is um, our corn behind us. Our average corn is probably, our good corn is five, six feet tall with a small ear. And then on top of the hills and some really dry fields are three foot or less. And we'll be chopping in what, like two weeks? Yeah, we'll be chopping the first couple days of September. Um, we've only had probably in Springfield, and in our area here where we farm, Springfield and Harkness area, we've only had three inches our whole growing season, maybe three and a quarter. And everybody just keeps waiting on more rain, but it doesn't develop. So um, I've been talking to a lot of older farmers. Uh, I always like to listen to different stories and get advice from older retired farmers. Um, they were they tell me of the droughts in the 60s were extreme i think 1957 and 8 were dry too and and then we go ahead like i just was saying 30 years to 1990 1988 and then in the 90s we had about five years of real dry year and then we're going to move ahead 30 years to where we are now is it isn't exactly 30 years what we're due for so they the old timers are saying we're due for four or five dry years i don't know if this is going to be the driest but i talked to one gentleman the other day he was saying he remembered one year in the 60s in this area where they they chopped corn it was the tallest corn was four foot tall with no ears 
and they only had a small first cotton crop so they feed was very short for those four or five years in the 60s um, thank goodness we don't have excessive animals this year on our farm we planted extra corn hopefully for, we were trying to get to, some to grow some grain but uh, we're, gonna chop it all, we're right? gonna chop it all just to have as much corn silage as we can and we do have some few fields that are later that might wait on some moisture to put on a better ear but about 240 acres 240 acres of our corn is is uh, is ready to go it's ready to chop within 14 days so we're gonna start harvest very soon got a lot of things to get ready and 2022 was a uh, not a good growing year I mean and uh, we'll have to see next year if your conspiracy theories are correct. Well, I don't conspiracy drought theories. Yeah, uh, drought so, theories. <laughs> um, we were thinking of buying some more cows this fall to milk, but we're going to hold off on that and see how much feed we got and go from there. A lot of the old timers also say that on a wet year, you, no, on a, no, let me do that again. On a dry year, you're scared to death, and on a wet year, you can you could possibly starve to death because there's some poor feed quality on a wet year and if you cut back your animals on a dry year you're actually more productive you have better quality feed and it might work out this right here is some of our shortest corn it's only like i mean i'm like five nine it's only like four foot tall Maybe gets out there to five foot tall out there, but yeah, this is not very tall. It's It's got a little bit of an ear coming on most of them, but uh, but yeah, that's our shortest corn this year. Um, this is just one of our fields right really close to our house, so. But yeah, that, this was just us talking about the drought and how we're so dry this year where we're at chopping corn is coming soon so uh stay tuned um thanks for watching everyone uh please like subscribe and comment